Hello everybody. Um, I've noticed that a few students have um, had some trouble either losing the placement of their um, picture in their trace or um, just generally having some sort of issue with um, mislocating the picture. Um, so what I wanted to show you in this video was how you can, um, if the picture manages to go missing, how you can put a new picture in and, and complete your trace. Let's say, I don't know, I might have been missing the last few parts of this object weren't finished yet. Um, so what we can do, if I'm able to find the picture again, I might have had it stored on my hard drive, but this particular picture, um, can't talk and type at the same time, um, this particular picture I got from the internet, so this one seems like it might have been it, was it black background? No, probably that one. Um, so I can grab the same picture again, go to uh, original image, there we are, copy it and paste back into CAD the same way I'd done in the past. Only this time the scale is going to be much different. It's much bigger than it should be. What I can do is, I can pick out some conspicuous points, some points that are going to be really easy to, to pick on both the, the trace, uh, trace down here and the picture I've just inserted, um, and get their length. So let's say I'm going to go from this top spike up there, down to this spike over here. Just because they stick out nice and far, it'll be easy to find those two points again. And this line has some length. Actually, I'll give it... Um, I'll give it a length so that we can see. That's not really very helpful. I have to scale up my dimensions. Okay, there, so we can see the length of that line. Now, if I draw the same line on here, so where was I going from? I'm going from this top spike up here. Make sure that object snapping is off so I don't accidentally snap to an edge. I want to go from this point down to this point. Try and get nice accurate points, that way you'll end up with the least error in your drawing. Okay, now I can check the um, the length of this line. Um, in properties, I'll find that the line is 5147 units long, 5147. The ratio, what, what I want is I want to scale this picture by some factor that makes it the same size as this. So what I need to do is if I take this length and divide it by that length, so the length of this line over here on my trace divided by the length of the line on my picture, that will give me the scale factor that I need in order to make this picture the same size as my initial trace. So I've got 2235 on 5147. 5147, I think that was right. So my scale factor should be about 0.434 scale command is SC, select objects, base point anywhere here, and what was it, 0 0.434, 0 0.4342, right, now lastly I can get rid of these um, construction lines that I put on there, and I can move this object, again picking some conspicuous point, I might pick the top of this ear, making sure object snapping is off when you're placing this point, and now I can turn object snapping back on when I'm locating it over here. And if all's gone according to plan, that should be pretty much lined up. So I can see a few of these things aren't quite in alignment. I might move this object slightly down. Maybe if I go down by three units. I might go across by another three units. Maybe another three. Yeah, so that, that might be a bit better. So you get your alignment nice and good, and now I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, <clears throat> so that's how you could realign a, a trace if you already had it. Then I could, once I've got this, I can finish off the, the tracing that I needed to put with all the rest of these lines here. But I'm not going to do that in this drawing. The other thing I wanted to show you how to do was um, trace a satellite photo to scale. So let's say, um, I suppose I need to go to Maps. Let's go to yeah, Google Maps, and I want a map of uh, Ballarat University. Alright, let's say I wanted to find the area of this oval, or perhaps, can I go satellite picture? Yeah, that's better. Let's say I wanted to find the the length of this road, for example, up University Drive. So I can print screen this, um, I can paste my print screen into CAD, and now what I need to do is I need to scale it so that this scale down here that Google gives you is equal to some equivalent number of units in AutoCAD. So 
what I can do now is I can measure the length of this line as read by AutoCAD from here to here so let's say, and, and again it's difficult in this part to choose whether you want to go say from the outside of this line to the outside or the inside to the inside I try and go roughly from the middle of these, this line here over to the middle of this line over there what length have I got there? So I've got a length of 1773. If I want that to be 200 units long, I can divide 200, which is my target length, by my actual length. So 200 divided by 1773 gets me 0.112. And there's also not much point in going to decimal places because as I pointed out here, this, this line that I've drawn isn't exactly precise. It could be you know, any number of places around there still have the same value. Um, so there's my scale factor, 0.112. Scale this down to 0.112. Um, and if I've done this roughly right, I should have a line which is roughly 200 long here. So yeah, it's, it's pretty close. I'm pretty happy with that. Estimates are never going to be perfect. The longer your scale line is, if you have a really long scale line down here and whatever program you've got the satellite picture from, that's going to obviously improve your accuracy. Um, and you might want to have a second crack at it if you had a, um, a bit of a wonky job or if it was a professional job. I'm not bothering with that here. Um, okay, now the last thing I can do is I can draw a polyline, say from, let's say I want to measure from the roundabout, I'll turn off tracking, roundabout up here, I'm going to go straight through that part of the roundabout. Polyline is going to be a good approximation of the length of the road. Um, don't need to worry too much about the curviness of it. Bloody object extension lines. Anyway, you see what I'm doing here. So I can measure this this line the whole way around. Um, and when I'm finished reaching my destination point, let's say I just wanted to go to here, point A. I can click this line and find out its overall length. So I know it's about 1.3 kilometers from there all the way around to there, following this road. Which is actually longer than you might think, just driving it. Um, but with this method, you can also, uh, say, determine areas. So I might want to determine uh, the area of the car park, for example. I could trace around here. Again, with a better satellite photo, you get a better estimate. But let's just roughly say I wanted to find out how big the car park was. And I could find that it is 40,000 meters squared. Um, which works out to be 4% of a kilometre squared, is it? Yes. Anyway, that's scaling of objects. It's mainly just, you know, measure, draw one line that represents the length you want to get to and one line that represents the length you've got, then use the scale tool to find the actual lengths. I hope that's been helpful.